Let's test out using dot push, dot pop, dot shift, and the dot unshift method on an array because these are extremely, extremely valuable methods. In particular, dot push, which pushes new data into an array. So let's go ahead and start with that one and just test it out. So all you have to really do to use any one of these is just write down the name of the array and then the name of the method. And for dot push, we're gonna put something inside. So we're just gonna add Bulbasaur to this array. And we're gonna do console.log Pokemon array. All right, so what we've done is we've pushed Bulbasaur to Pokemon array. And now we're just going to display it in the console and see where he was added. Come back here, refresh. And that's where he is, he's right at the end of the array. All right, so let's go back in there. And now we're going to use dot pop. So same exact thing, except dot pop. Now we don't actually have to put any information into dot pop because what pop does is it removes the last item in an array. So we'll do console.log Pokemon array again. Come back here, clear this out, refresh. So Bulbasaur was added, and then Bulbasaur was removed. So as we can see in the second section, Bulbasaur is no longer there. So let's take a look at unshift. So we'll do Pokemon Array dot unshift. We'll do Meowth and console dot log Pokemon Array. We'll save it. Go back here and we'll refresh. So the first one, push added Bulbasaur, pop removed Bulbasaur, and then unshift added Meowth right in front of Pikachu. So unshift and shift affect the first element in the array, where pop and push affect the last element of an array, the last index. So when we go back in, we can do Pokemon array dot shift, then console dot log Pokemon array, save it, clear this out again. And now Meowth is removed with shift. So go ahead, mess around with these a little bit, get into the habit of using this, push in particular is very useful when somebody is, you know, you're adding a new user to something or you're adding more information into your object. So we'll actually be testing this out on our next video.